Hello everyone, I'm Megan Sullivan and welcome to my review of 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim developed by Vanillaware and published by Atlas and Sega. 13 Sentinels is like a jigsaw puzzle of a Picasso painting. It's sometimes hard to put together and there's a lot of bizarre things happening all at once, but when you're finally able to see how the smaller pieces fit together to reveal the larger picture and its full meaning, it's kind of brilliant. The game starts off with a typical JRPG plot. 13 teens must pilot giant robots in order to stop giant killer aliens from destroying the world. Stop me if you've heard that one before, I certainly thought I had. But then the next 40 hours left me screaming, what the hell is even happening? As the game revealed an increasingly bonkers plotline that had me bouncing between timelines and questioning everything happening in the fictional city of Ashtaba, including the identity of the characters, their motives, and the very concept of time, space, and reality. This wild ride is set against a gorgeous backdrop. Vanillaware is known for their spectacular 2D art, and 13 Sentinels is no exception. I was worried that their art style, which is normally set in medieval fantasy, wouldn't transfer to a modern or futuristic setting, but the developer gets around this by bathing Ashtaba in beautiful, vibrant colors and detailed backdrops. These aren't just aesthetic choices either. Even the art is telling a story. The only criticism I have is that I wish the teens did didn't have to be naked when piloting the robots. Yes, there is actually a story for that as well, but it still felt skeevy and unnecessary. Luckily, most of the art development went into things like world building, scaling, and detailed facial expressions, brought even more to life by some really fantastic voice acting. I just wish that distinctive Vanillaware art style had continued into the turn-based gameplay, but instead, Vanillaware switches to a 3D map, where you strategically move up to six upgradable sentinels with their own skills and abilities around a grid in an attempt to take on waves of enemy aliens. Even on easy mode, there's quite a bit of strategy that needs to be employed, and it's kind of fun. Although to be honest, outside the adrenaline-pumping battle themes and the occasional plot reveal, I wouldn't miss these fights, because it's a story that acts as a game's main engine, driving the player forward by revealing plot twist after plot twist that leaves you wanting to play more just to find out what the heck is going on. Now I'll be honest, I was still left scratching my head as the credits were but there's promise of some post-game content that I hope ties up some of these loose ends, and there's a lot of story logs I can rummage through in case I missed anything. And even then, if I'm still a little confused, that won't diminish my enjoyment of this exciting, harrowing roller coaster ride of a game, which is why I urge you not to overlook 13 sentiments. Like time, it's relative, valuable, and worth it.